Hello and welcome. This is Steve True with Excel-BoardTemplates.com. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com and subscribe. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest blog posts as well as the latest videos delivered right to your inbox. Okay, uh, the other day I was trying to rebuild all of the charts that I saw in the USA Today. Unfortunately, lost that paper, made through it out. But uh, there's some new charts in the next USA Today that I wanted to show you and see about how to build these in Excel. So this is a cost of gold chart, and you can see it looks like it's an area chart. Uh, it's got darker green um, and then lighter green that shows each one of the years. It's got these really cool callouts that show the first data point and the last data point in the series. They've highlighted a line on top of the area charts to show the upper end of the area. They've also modified the horizontal axis and grid lines, and uh, they've also modi the, uh, modified the horizontal axis here um, with dates uh, at the start and end. I meant to say they've modified the vertical axis on this side. So let's see how we can rebuild this USA Today chart in Excel. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can build that chart in Excel. First, we want to create our data range for the chart in such a way that it's going to make it easier to build the chart. Column A, you can see we've got dates starting from 1231 of 09 and then going all the way down for each month until we get to 33113. But since the chart ends on 415, I've added one additional series down here uh, for April 15th. Then uh, the next, what we want to have is we want to do an area chart, and this is going to be all of our data that is shaded in green. Uh, following that, we have an exact copy of the same data, and this is what's going to draw our line on the top of the area chart. Uh, we have a series for our upper callout, and I've put this down about six rows because we want it to sort of be in the chart a little ways and then have a pointer coming back to a, the data series. Likewise, I've got a downward callout uh, about five or six series in. You can play with these as you uh, build your chart. And this is the same data point uh, that I want to call out at the very bottom of the chart. So uh, you'll have to fiddle with these and make sure that they're working right. But this would be for the uh, upward call out that is going to uh, show the last data point in the series. Finally, what I've also done is, you see th these formulas are just equals B2, equals B3. It's pretty simple. Uh, but we've got it for each year. So this is 2009 through 2010. And we've got 2012 highlighted here as well. What this area highlight is going to do is this is how we're going to alternate between dark green and light green. So let's go ahead and show you how we build the chart. First, what we want to do is just highlight our entire range. I'm going to hit Control Shift right and go there to F1 and then Control Shift down until I get to the very bottom of my chart. So what we want to do is we want to then go to our insert menu. We want to go to the area chart button in the charts group and we want to check a 2D area chart. All right, so let me uh, let's go ahead and move that up to the very top so that you can see it a little bit more clearly with the data um, and then put it right next to the chart as well for our sample. So uh, first thing I notice here is um, our horizontal axis is not created correctly. We want the first point, the last point. We can fix that pretty easily. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So right click on the axis and do format axis. Now it's Excel is always going to try and pick what type of axis they want to create for you. Since it saw dates, it's going to do an automatic date. I want to force this to be a text axis. And then I also want to change my interval between labels. And I just happen to know that it's 40 away um, from uh, one label end to the other. Then I want to get rid of these tick marks, and we're going to do none there, and hit close. As you can see now, we have um, the first data point and the last. I want to do one other thing on that horizontal axis. I want to right-click on it and do Format Axis. I want to go to the number, choose Date, and then we want to choose the short date right there. And click on Close. Now it looks just like the chart that we see as our sample chart. Uh, let's correct the vertical axis as well by right-clicking on it to format axis. We're going to go up to the number, and we are going to make it just no decimals. Then on our axis options, we want to change it. It had a minimum of 1,000 on the sample chart. We want to fix the maximum. We want to fix the major unit to be 200. Also, uh, I typically am going to take out the 
access major tick marks. Okay, looking very similar to the chart that we had before. Now the grid lines in our sample were dashed lines, so I'm going to select the grid lines, right click on them, and do format grid lines. We're going to choose a line style, and we're going to change a dash type to a dash here in the center. Click on close. You can see it's getting a lot closer. Um, one other thing that we need to do now is you'll notice that the uh, chart isn't quite vertical. So this blue area here is uh, kind of going from zero and then up to a point. So it's at a very slight angle. In order to fix that, we need to select the chart, go up to our layout ribbon. Oops, I meant our design ribbon. Uh, and then there's this button here that says select data. And then there's this hidden button here that says hidden and empty cells. I want to click that and we want to show empty cells as gaps so that it makes it vertical instead of uh, uh, going from a zero to a point. And we click on OK. It's just tighten those lines up a little bit more. They're not uh, uh, going diagonally. Now what we also want to do is change our colors on the area chart. So let's go ahead and select um, one of the area sections. So let's do the, uh, uh, here we go, we're going to do the area highlight. We're going to right click on it. We're going to do format data series. We're going to go to fill. We're going to choose a solid fill. And the outside, uh, based on our sample, was sort of a light green. So I'm going to pick something like this olive green at 40%. Now I can also just keep this box open and come over and click on the um, other lines until I find the actual color that I'm looking for. I can go to the fill menu and I want to do a solid fill and let's do a darker color of green. Click on close. All right, now uh, it hasn't quite done exactly what I was hoping to do because this red here is really going to be the line at the top and it's still an area chart right now. So what we want to do is we want to select the line. We want to go up to our design ribbon from our design ribbon hit the change chart type and we want to change this to a line type chart. Click on OK and then there you see the red line is going up on top of the chart. We've got our alternating green and dark green highlights that are still there in the area chart. I want to change also this upward callout and downward callout to lines as well. So I can select the chart and then move my arrow keys until I find that selection. Go up to change chart type, do a line chart click on OK. Do the same thing. I've clicked in there. I'm hitting my arrows until you see here upward callout is actually highlighted. Go to our design ribbon and change the chart type to a line for that one as well. You can see now over in the legend my upward callout and my downward callout are actually lines. They're no longer area charts like the area highlight is. All right, we're really close now. What we want to do is we want to change the color of this line. I'm going to select it and do right click format data series and we're going to change the line color to a solid line and we're going to go very dark with this one so that it stands out. Uh, it's looking really like the chart right now. Um, finally what I want to do is I want to um, let's get rid of actually this legend first by selecting it hitting the delete key. Now I want to add these callouts in here and uh, so to do this you need to create custom markers so I'm going to click anywhere in the chart I'm sorry, in the spreadsheet, I'm going to click on the insert menu, I'm going to go to my shapes button, and I'm going to come all the way down here at the bottom is callouts, and it says select a rectangular callout, and I've checked it, now I'm going to actually drag and drop it to have it show up in there. Let me go and change some of the coloring on this, make it something like that where it doesn't stand out as much. Now, you can also link this to an XS cell by clicking on it, hitting your equal sign, and then clicking on, oops, didn't do that quite right. Uh, so let's see, equals D6. Boom, you see now it's got an actual uh, amount in there. If you change that amount, it will change your label. Then I want to just drag and drop that arrow right there, the, the call out into the space that I want. Uh, now I can copy this by hitting Control C. Just go anywhere else in the chart and go Control V. Uh, and then this one here, we are going to link it instead of D6. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to link the other one to cell E38. So let's go back up here. We're going to select this one. We can actually go up to our formula bar and just change it. Equals E38. 
38, hit enter, and look, it's got 1,292 in there now, so it's actually linked to the cell. Then I want to do is I want to actually move this line here, uh, that pointer for the callout to another section, because it's going to be an upward callout or a downward callout uh, in this case. So um, let's go ahead and now uh, modify those in the chart. So I'm going to click on this custom marker, hit Control C. I'm going to select the chart, and I'm going to just move my mouse until I find the right one, and we're going to paste it. Look at that, it's going to show up right there. Now you might have to fiddle with these uh, marker uh, drag and drops to the callouts, uh, just in case it doesn't hit the exact spot that you're looking for. Uh, control V. One's a little closer, but not the best as well, so let me undo both of those, and I'm just going to move this marker a little bit more. I think this one's same thing, a little bit more like that. Copy. Go back in my chart and find my upward call outs series and paste. Oh, still not the same, not exactly where I want it. Let's move it back down like that. Once you have it locked in, it will uh, always be there for you. So that looks pretty good because that's actually calling out there. Control C. I'm going to find the downward call out and paste. Nope, still a little too far. I'm going to undo that select this and just move it back and down a little bit like that copy and find the series and then paste all right so now you can see um, how we were able to recreate a USA Today chart where we've got an area chart that's got alternating colors uh, that equal the different years so this is 2010 11 12 and now we're in 13 got custom markers that point to specific um, data points within the line series. We've added a darker line all the way across. We've created some dashes for our grid lines, modified our horizontal and vertical axis so that they show only the data points that we want and the specific lines that we want. So uh, if I kind of look at this together, it looks very similar. The data points aren't the exact same. I didn't have their exact data, but uh, the formatting and how you build this chart is done exactly the same way. It's not done with creating any overlays of images or other things like that. It's all native Excel. If I change the values, these lines and areas will change as well. Once again, uh, please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com where you're going to learn all these exciting charting techniques to make your dashboards in Excel shine. Also, please don't forget to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest post directly in your inbox. Thank you.